Now, as you can see behind me, I have a huge PC. This is what I do all my editing on and all of my gaming. But there are some times where people just don't have the space to have a full PC rig. So what they use is a MacBook or some sort of laptop. What if I told you, you could still run all of this off of one MacBook. And what I'm talking about is a docking station. Now I've used a lot of docking stations in the past, but this one just sort of top trumps it that little bit more. So this is the Fusion Dock Pro One Plus. Now what we're gonna do is go over the unboxing. As you can see, it's still sealed. I haven't even opened it yet. Future me will come at you. We'll do the unboxing, the build quality, and all of that good stuff, and go over some of the specs of why I think this one is gonna be the best option for someone looking in the space of using a laptop to control everything so future me here going over the fusion dock pro one so this one here is actually designed for the mac os on the front side starting off with usb c which is 10 gigabits per second with a 20 watt pd the second one is also a usb c with 10 gigabits then you have two usb ports which are 3.2 running at 10 gigabits per second a tf slot and an sd slot a 3.5 jack for mic and audio and then your indicator light and power button on one side you have the security slot and on the other side is a usb c upstream port and then on the back what you get is the DC in which is 20 volts a 2.5 gigahertz ethernet cable another two USB a at 10 gigabits per second and then this is where I think it tops it because you get three full HDMI ports which are all running at 4k 60 Hertz what you get in the box is the fusion dock pro one plus the power adapter the AC power cord the USB C cable the FAQ card and the user manual right so it's been a couple of days I've been testing this thing out and putting it through its paces now there's something I need to say before I jump into the build quality I only had one HDMI port unfortunately I used display port so I didn't have them just lying around so I was only able to test it on one monitor from the Mac to a separate monitor but it worked absolutely flawless so I can guarantee all three run at the same time would have no issues at all. Anyway, let's jump into the actual build quality of this machine. And let me tell you, the build quality is by far, I think one of my favorites, just from that sleek metal on top, which has got this sort of brushed finish. Uh, very simplistic, very professional. It looks the part. You could take this anywhere and people would think, what is that? That is beautiful. Now, I'm not sure about the bottom. It might be aluminium, I might be wrong, but it feels like it's got like a plastic sound to it, but it does look aluminium. That's where I'm getting confused. So so that I'm not sure on, but that shell here is like very industrial grade aluminium. It's, you know, strong, well-built and just looks super clean. So for the build quality for me, absolutely superb. Now let's go over some of the pros and the cons. I'm gonna start with the cons because I've only got one. Well, I've got one con and maybe one suggestion if they haven't got one in a previous version. But the only con that I found with this device is about the power block. The power block is almost double the weight and triple in thickness and almost the same size as the actual dock itself. So if you are taking this around, this on its own, if it was powered by something a lot smaller, this could be revolutionary for anyone on the go because you've got to carry this thing around. It weighs a lot. Uh, when you actually pair them together, it feels heavier probably than the actual MacBook itself. So that's probably my only con is the fact that this thing is so big. Now I get it, you've got to power three triple 4K monitors from this baby. It's gonna need a lot of juice. So that does make sense, but it is just a bit of a burden having something so heavy when you've already got to carry this as well. But that's the only con that I've really found with this. Now, the only thing I'd say for suggestion, running this by solar panel, if that could be a thing of having maybe a solar panel on top, that could create so much more space on the work surface. And if you are out and about, you could just plug this in and it would be raring to go with an included battery maybe. I don't know how that would work. Now, obviously I haven't tested this on Windows. I haven't tested it on like gaming consoles. As it being a docking station, you'd expect it to sort of just display anything that's being inputted into this device. I haven't tested that. All I've used it for is using my MacBook. Now, as you can see behind me, I've got all my monitors, my main PC, that's where I do all the editing. It's just nice to have the versatility of using a MacBook on the go. This is probably more dedicated for those people that just use MacBooks alone, don't have a PC, where me, I'd probably use this more for the ports that it has here. So obviously, like I said, the TF card, the SD card, and all of the USBs, because MacBooks decided to just get rid of everything and give you two USB ports, this is probably your best option for internet, USB connectivities, and also for the HDMI ports that allow you to 
expand your horizon and give you extra real estate for when editing because we all know MacBooks don't have the biggest screens when it comes down to editing and you're always shrinking down other parts or getting rid of you know widgets and side panels and all of that stuff in Promo Pro so it's always nice to have that extra screen and this allows you to do so. Now coming from experience I've used a lot of docks in the past that are Mac only but they do work on Windows so I'm, I'm tempted to try it on Windows and I'll let you know in the comments below if it does work. I'm not going to add it into this video because this is only dedicated for Mac users. I don't want to start confusing people but in the comments I'll let people know if it works on other devices just in case you are curious but today we're on Apple only but like I say for me this is the perfect solution for all of the ports all of the HDMI's and everything when I want to be on the go or in a smaller office where I haven't got all of this distraction this is the way forward I can't pronounce the name of the company I I've I've Ivan iVaniki. So that's been the little hands-on review of the iVaniki Fusion Dock Pro Plus One. And for me, I'd say this is perfect for those business people that are always on the go in and out of the office. Content creators, if you're using Mac only, definitely look into one of these because again, it gives you all the extra ports and displays. College students as well, if you're heading off to college uh, or uni and you'd like to have a minimalistic desk setup without having to bring a horde of cables, a horde of TVs, a horde of pa like PC components and all of that stuff, this is probably your best option as well. So for that, I would definitely say it's recommended for most users. There's loads on their website, which I've linked in the description. You can go over there and check out all the other products. But I wanna say a massive thank you to Ivaniki for sending this product out. I'm super grateful because I'm gonna be using this a lot more than you think. So as you can see, that box on top of my PC is actually another docking station. That was for a Mac, but I've used it for my PC to allow me to have SD card slots. A load more functions up front like USBs and USB-C. It's gonna be a huge help for me and my workflow, I definitely appreciate it. If you do want to go check out anything, like I said, there's a link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any questions about this or any queries or anything like that, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And other than that, capture, create, captivate, and I'll see you all in the next video.